The exhibition The Bride and the Bachelors at the Barbican Arts Centre in London, and it's travelled from Philadelphia, is all about the fruitful and complicated relationships and dialogues between Marcel Duchamp, Jasper Johns, Robert Rauschenberg, the choreographer Merce Cunningham and composer John Cage. To these five characters we add a sixth, the French artist Philippe Pereno, who's been asked to design what's called a mise-en-scène or an orchestration for the entire exhibition. And he's worked with both sound, a soundscape, with the lighting, with the labelling, and playing with ghosts inside this very odd thematic show. We're in The Bride and the Bachelors, the, the <coughs> show about Duchamp yes, and his legacy. What, what led you to be involved? The, the, the invitation came from Carlos Besueldo, the, the, direct, the, the, curator, the main curator of the Philadelphia Maison for an Art, and um, he asked me to join, to pay, take part of his adventure when I did the show at the Serpentine. That was three years ago, I believe. Yeah. And uh, I knew Carlos, but I never really worked with him. And, um, and he was somehow interested by the fact that I was more and more you know, developing scores, or script, trying to, um, to guide the visitors through, uh, through an architecture by change of light or playing with sound. This is the dance without the dancers. The dance without the dancers, yeah. So that was recorded in New York in a, in a, in a studio and I put basically a, 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 a contact microphone on the floor, like a pattern, pattern of microphone and then I replace the microphone, the dancer dance, and I replace the microphone by solid drives who are producing the sound of the footsteps through the wood. Ah, here, we go. here they come. It's completely them, magical. Yeah. It's magical. It really is a summoning of ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're right here now. Yeah, they're right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird, huh? That so is fabulous. Nice, nice, nice it becomes like a thing from the past. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I was rather interested to, to try to see how today, with the technology we have, we can bring back some kind of semi-life kind of performance. They become like quasi-objects in all that. And now what you hear is a disc clavier piano prepared by uh, Margaret Lactan, with a pianist of you know, the official cage inter interpret. If you see the pieces of, uh, of felt, felt. Oh, felt, yeah. yeah. Into the piano. I thought it was just dirty. No, no, just a piece of felt, so it's prepared in this way, this one. They're all prepared in different and ways. And with the, yeah. Uh, yeah. like, cord or a so it's more, uh, ribbon. It's more kind of, it produces sort of like really intimate kind of uh, uh, sound, you know? It really softens it. Huh? Soft. Oh, here it is. So it breaks the harmony. Beautiful, no? So that's something that you will never see. Uh, if the piano was not there, obviously, you, know, you would hear a recording of it, but not ex an, experience, an experience of it, no? Yeah. And it's another way of taking you away from, you know, from exactly. classic do shots, yeah. you know, with the, yeah. with, uh, with the but bride. The, but it's beautiful to hear Duchamp and to hear being your back, oh. uh, this clavier piano played by Margaret Lactan, no? Because mm. you kind of like, what do I do, you know, do I look? And that's what art is all about, you know. It's like being in, being a, being in the street and you know looking exactly. at a beautiful exactly. lady, and then you know, and having a sound or sort of friend of yours talking to you, and you endorse everything. That's life, no? And it kind of changes the way you look, <coughs> obviously, absolutely, and absolutely, it, and the way you physically, your your physical yeah. presence. With yeah. it, that, that whole idea of Duchamp is is part of it, isn't it? That, that yeah. you. It's not just an object to be looked at, it's an object to, yeah. to see through. Yeah, to see through and to look back at, you know, to look the back of that. Exactly. Of thing. Yeah. And which do we care about more, the, the plane or this the, plane or here? the shadow, yeah. With the shadows. 
which is suddenly like a Javanese puppet theatre. So you see, the, yeah, exactly. And so the shadows leads you to, uh, to all the shadows. We see the raw production of the raw production. In the, the uh, Jasper of, Jones, of the Jasper Jones uh, version of the Marcel Duchamp. Yeah, so it becomes a prop for Walk Around Time, which is presented without being presented. Yeah. <laughs> We have the first movement, and then the second movement is uh, this a microphone we put into the tunnel. Which is the road tunnel running the underneath, road the underneath the Barbican. The Barbican. And then you will hear, like literally, the sound of cars crossing the entire space of the exhibition, which is, of course, then becomes really, really then you really distracted. So you can. This. Here it is. Yeah. Whoa. So the cars are coming, <laughs> you know? <laughs> And still the sound, and you see the people talking. I mean, I, I, I'm not sure. I, I'm a very, I'm, I'm very wary of the word, really. But mm -hmm. it's a very poetic reading, mm -hmm. in a sense. It's a very charged reading of the work, and it all depends on affect yes. on one's. Yes. Uh, visceral and emotional and yes. psychological yes. relation to the yes. work, which is very anti-art historical yes. in a way. Yes. It's about making things present yes. now. Yes, yes, you know. But you know, it's it's funny that uh, it's funny that um, uh, you know the, I found the, the shows in museums sort of like somehow having a kind of entertaining a kind of weird notion of the public, you know, uh, and you know it's kind of like. I think you, people are smarter, you know, so, but there's no other way, so to speak, to, uh, I think there's a power in exhibition, and an and exhibition, it can be a really fantastic way to, uh, to, to produce yeah. knowledge. And an artwork is not only an object, it's also something that tells you something, you know. It's also, it's also an, you know, you have a dialogue with some, you know, with, with object, you know, and that's what also can be, a, I mean, that for me is the main interest mm. of having them around, you know.